Hi you guys, it is Tara the Food Pervert and today I am at Jimmy's Famous American Tavern in Santa Monica. I am so excited to show you guys some of this restaurant's most famous menu items and give you my unfiltered critique. As you can see, the inside of the restaurant has a great modern decor and a hip casual vibe. Perfect for sipping a beer or wine on tap and biting into a juicy burger. But before we start eating, I'm gonna talk to today's manager. We are here with the general manager, Chris, and he is going to answer some questions for us. So Chris, tell me, what is your favorite menu item and why? My favorite menu item is uh, the burger. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's specifically the Jimmy Burger is mm -hmm. one of my favorites. It's got a pimento cheese spread mm -hmm. on it with some jalapeno jam. It's real savory. It's uh, got bacon mm. on it. It'll fill you up. Uh, you get it with some Parmesan truffle fries. Oh my it's gosh! The way to go. Yeah. That it's, sounds. It's that sounds very it's a delicious. Very rich, decadent burger. Woo! All right, my mouth is watering a little bit. Now, I know you guys have both beer and wine on tap, is that correct? We do, we, uh, we have some, uh, what, what a, lot, a lot of winemakers are doing mm -hmm. now is uh, they're, rather than the expense of putting it into glass and it actually degrades it a little bit when you move it from the larger vats into mm -hmm. glass. Uh, so they put it into the, the, the smaller vats and they mm -hmm. just ship them out in vats and, it, mm -hmm. and it's actually, uh, it's, it's all high end, it's not, Two buck chuck. It's it's really good it's stuff. Really good wine. You know we have Hess. We have huh? uh, a troublemaker, Ooh, Franciscan that's Chardonnay. That's my kind of wine. All great, <laughs> all great wines, and uh, very good. And it just kind of makes it affordable. We can offer it on a happy hour. So we're, we have a lot of high end wines on happy hour because, because of that. And you guys also uh, try and source food locally when you oh, can. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. We, uh, despite the fact that we have five uh, restaurants and couple of different counties, mm -hmm. we look to uh, our local providers to bring in some high quality stuff. Yeah. Uh, whenever possible, we shoot for organic. Can't always do that and be right. affordable. Sure. Um, I have worked for organic restaurants and it, it can get be, could be really expensive, but we do our best, you know, to try to make it healthy organic. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we it's American comfort food, but you can still yeah. be healthy Absolutely. with American comfort food. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much, Chris. I know that I am now starving and <laughs> I cannot wait to try that burger. That's All for right. sure. <laughs> we will bring that out to you right now. <laughs> All right, you guys. What I have here is from the appetizer menu. This is the spicy ahi poke. It's got some delicious things in here. There's some avocado, papaya, uh, some serrano chilies, I believe. Mm. Oh, you can also eat it with one of these crispy wontons, kind of like a little chip here. You can scoop it on, get a good bite. I want some avocado. Mmm. What I really like about this dish is how fresh it tastes. The tuna is really fresh. I love the pop of the papaya and the creaminess of the avocado and the little hint of spice. Okay, and now I thought I'd better order a vegetable since I'm gonna be eating a burger later. These are the charred Brussels sprouts. They've got some applewood smoked bacon, pine nuts, and maple syrup. Sounds pretty good, right? <laughs> I'm just gonna pop this whole thing. Yeah. Mmm. I'm gonna get some bacon. Wow. I have not had Brussels sprouts with maple syrup before. Really, really good. It was very sweet. And then also the bacon gave us that nice salty contrast and the pine nuts gave a little bit of crunch. I would definitely order these again. Who is ready for some buttermilk fried chicken with thyme gravy? That sounds incredible. This fried chicken here with mashed potatoes. There's also some green beans. I love fried chicken and this is one of their most popular dishes. 
Really want to get some of that gravy in this bite. Oh, you look delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Whoa. Oh my gosh, this is really good. I think this is the best fried chicken I ever had. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think this might have been the best fried chicken plate I've ever tasted. I'm serious. The thyme herb flavor in the gravy with the crunchy chicken and the moist, juicy meat, something about that combination was just magical explosions in my mouth right now. I could eat this whole plate. Mmm. This is what we've been waiting for, Jimmy's Burger. I am so excited. You have to see this thing. I mean, it's huge. It's got bacon, pimento cheese, and jalapeno jam. That sounds incredible. And then we've got some Parmesan fries here. Here comes the bite. Look at this. Look at this cheese oozing out of the sides. Oh, you are naughty. Mmm. Whoa. Mmm. Good and messy. Bye. I can leave now because I've tasted the world's best burger. I have eaten a lot of cheeseburgers in my day, and this has burned a memory into my mind because that jalapeno jam with the bacon and the cheese all wrapped together in the juicy, fatty, greasy meat and the bun, this is a burger you will never forget. I am never going to forget Jimmy's Burger. Okay, now I also have to taste these fries and I'm going to use Jimmy's very own ketchup. This is a bold and smoky chipotle ketchup. And I'm just gonna dump it right on these fries. Oh! <laughs> we got a little bit extra, but you know what? That's okay. Get a couple fries here. Mmm, it's very sweet and smoky and it's delicious with these salty, cheesy fries. I had such an amazing time here today at Jimmy's Famous American Tavern. I thought the food was so good. My favorite dishes were definitely the buttermilk fried chicken and Jimmy's burger because those flavors just blew my mind. They were so amazing. I cannot wait for you food pervs to get on down here and try them for yourself because they're gonna be amazing. And you can also enjoy a nice glass of wine or a beer at the bar, and even head down to the pier if you want to. Until next time, this is Tara the Food Pervert.